Bro. Axe? Bro! Axe? Dude! What's up, Hooper Gang? It's Vice here, and I'm here with another deck. I think you all know what Lucario does by now. Lucario has the ability Roaring Resolve, very reminiscent of the Charizard, which carried the same ability. It says, once during your turn, you may put two damage counters on this Pokemon. If you do, search your deck for fighting energy and attach it to this Pokemon. So, Lucario sits there. It's like Goku doing the Spirit Bomb with the fighting energies. And then Aura Sphere Volley says, discard all fighting energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 60 more for each card you discard in this way. So, you know, base, 130 damage. And then for each extra fighting energy, you're adding 60 more. You know, you go from 130 to 190, 190 to 250, if you have four energy. So add a choice belt onto that and you're hitting for some pretty big numbers. Now what this list does to improve the odds of swinging big with Lucario is you've got choice belt, that's an extra 30. You got access to Grant, which is another extra 30 if you manage to pull it off. Gutsy Pickaxe to accelerate fighting energy when you normally wouldn't be able to. So Gutsy Pickaxe plus the fighting energy plus a Rangaroo means you can swing for really big numbers. And then finally the Raihan is energy acceleration as well. So between Raihan and the Grant, you're you're hitting upwards you're doing some big big numbers and it's not too out of the ordinary to hit with a three energy four energy lucario thanks to all these combo cards you've got mill tank in here and it keeps the metagame very honest there are opponents out there who will just concede because they cannot deal with the mill tank if they do have the answers, then it becomes a much more honest game. And then you get to play the Lucario versus whatever it is you're playing against. And you got Bibarel here for, for draw. It is very important, the Bibarel, as the deck, as you can see, does not feature any draw supporters at all. And then a little bit of flair of my own. I've decided to include a couple of Pokemon Catcher just for, for those plays that wouldn't otherwise be possible because you can't play boss and right hand in the same turn, but you can play right hand and catch up. So look, I got some games coming up with the list. This list is based on a list that did quite well in a late night online tournament. I'll include a link to that deck in the description. If you enjoy seeing decks like this, please leave a like on the video, comment, subscribe if you're feeling generous and I'll see you in the next live stream or video. So take care, goodbye. See you later. Get in here. Come on. Let's play. What are we up against? Darkrai, maybe? This person looks like they bought an ETB not too long ago, perhaps. It's pretty cool. I do kind of want to pick up one of these Astral Radiance ETBs. Get the sleeves. The IRL ones. Get some KMC character guard sleeves and... Do something with it. All right, so tail. It's gonna have to axe. All right, Mew. I'm gonna use scoop up net on the active Mew to reset it. It's tail. Okay, balloon, retreat, tail. All right. Axe. Bro. Axe. Bro. Axe. Dude. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> no. What? the deck somebody out there is gonna do the odds i'm gonna i'm gonna upload that as like a youtube short and just like no clickbait or anything it'd just be like 
Gutsy Pickaxe gets three energy. <laughs> or something. I, I don't know. That was... Yeah. That, that was ridiculous. <laughs> a wrong turn at Albuquerque? Is it, is it difficult to drive around? That place? I know some places in Australia, you really just don't want to mess it up the first time around. The gutsy pickaxe. Four? Can we go? Can we get the the four of? Ooh, a rangaroo. Well, that's all right. So weird. So weird. All right, tail. Insane lucky pickaxe draws. Yeah, something like that. Hey, I think uh, quick ball is very good. And then I'm gonna put the rope away and see what else we get. In the sense, that'll do. Yeah, we can always get Lucario later. Bidoof. Energy. Done. Alright, we're still okay. And the reason why we're okay is... We have... Miltank. So, if we could just work our way out of this... Rut... That we're in with our triple energy Mew. Miltank should be able to save the day. And our opponent may run a card like Cancelling Cologne, but we just don't know. Don't know. They could attack with Bronzong as well. Certainly. Certainly be a decent option against us, but we do run double mill tank, so we might be okay there. Might be alright. Uh, yeah, that was a, a very amusing sequence. What I need is like the uh like the, the turn down for what song and have like the build up. To like the triple the triple axe throughout that whole turn because that whole turn was really silly turn was very silly Goodbye, energy. It was nice to know you. It's alright. We got another Mew. Nair Balloon. Here you go. Play the Barrel down. Ooh, a Choice Belt. Very nice. Grab that. In Scissors. For a big five. Now, can we hit... Mill tank here because we could right hand energy and just to start just start attacking with mill tank. The other line would be oh no we, we're not KOing this thing. But. We'll tail first. Quick ball. Okay, well that that makes the turn easier, right? Quick ball, let's put the grant in the discard pile. Mill tank, there's two of them. Very good. Energy. Energy. Right hand. Energy. Might just grab Lucario. It's kind of good because Lucario. Yeah, no answer. They didn't have an answer! 
Miltank keeps this format honest, doesn't it? Let's run it back. Let's see if we can pick ourselves up. Dust ourselves off. You know? Try again. And then for tomorrow's stream... If I don't quite finish the deck profile for... Lucario... Tonight, we'll play a bit more Lucario. And then I'll spend the rest of tomorrow night practicing for the winner box tournament. So I'm going to play in a tournament on the weekend. I'm going to decide what I want to play. Whether I want to play something fun or or not. Let's let's just go with Riolu in the active. You know, no mucking around. We're not messing about. Beedrill though. Let's go. Energy comes down. Twin Needle is menacing. Riolu to the bench. Quick Ball gets rid of Manaphy, I would say, in this case. Miltank is going to be good for us. Let's try Pickaxe. Okay, Pickaxe. There's the Miltank. Yeah, that's fine. Lucario is a Pokemon that can power itself up in one turn effectively between regular energy plus Roaring Resolve or right hand. No, it's not. It's the other decks, James. Hello, by the way. Yeah, read the, the stream title says, then other decks. This is the other deck. Hey, maybe Rillaboom is in this deck. You don't know what's in this deck. How you doing? Shauna. Shauna has been creeping into decks to counter certain things. Real boom too cool. Yeah, you're probably right. Wow. Maximum rarity in this deck. Are these like secret rares? Ooh, the HGSS. What's this one? That's like... Not legendary treasures, like generations or something? I can't remember. Alright. The barrel. Energy on the mill tank. Fine. Incisors. Black and white generations. Ah. So let's go net. Grab the Riolu. Promote the mill tank. Do one of these. If we quick ball for anything, is there anything that we're looking for? Not really. Like, Mew is good, but... I think we're going to be good for a little while. Quick Ball is for basic Pokemon. So we're seeing Swarming Sting. Oh. So, Swarming Sting is strong. And it snipes, so that's the other, the other potent part of this B drill. That means that we, <laughs> we should get the Manaphy. We can grab it back. It's fine. Let's get rid of the mute. Yuzu Sake. That sounds alright. It's been a long day. Well, nothing like some sake to improve your mood after a long day. You'll get me some? I'll have to take you up on that. Cheers, exactly. Cheers to that. I had some cheetah whiskey on the weekend, which was quite nice. Let's bench the second Wiriolu. Let's just flesh out the board a little bit. We'll wisdom the Bibarrel, see what we get. Scoop.
Coop.net. It's fine. Route. Cheers for 900 subs. That's right, Ramon. We're up over 900, which is exciting times. You know, 1,000 subscribers is a pretty important milestone as a creator because that means the channel can be monetized. The channel was monetized a very long time ago and then YouTube changed their rules and said that I could only be monetized if I had over a thousand subscribers. So that, that's the rules now, right? A thousand subscribers, 4,000 hours watch time. Um, getting watch time by playing Pokemon cards, very easy. Getting the subscribers, I mean, Pokemon is popular enough where I should be able to achieve that uh, as long as I just work hard, work towards it, you know. 1k sub party featuring Pokemon card, card game GBA. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was thinking it would be cool to do like a challenge run of the original. So. You know, either like commons and uncommons only, or um, maybe you do like a, a singleton challenge where you can only play like one of every card that you decide to include. So like games are actually hard. I think that would be fun. Let's draw one with scissors. I think it would be fun. I just like... I sort of don't know enough about that game to know how to make it difficult. I'm sure if I googled it, there would be other ideas on challenge runs. We could do like um, a singleton and certain cards are banned or something. You're heading off, Ramon. Well, good night. Good night, Whooper Gang. Yeah. All right. Mill tank attacks. Wait. Why did that attack go through Wave Veil? Huh? Oh, I didn't see this over here. Okay, well, let's just deal with that real quick. Okay, get over here, mate. Alright, no no more of those shenanigans. Yeah, I could do the snap lock. Just like get get everybody ha 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 ha. Imagine. Imagine losing the Pokemon catcher. I had it right in my head. GG, yes. Got some good games so far. I think after this game. We'll try and do a deck profile for the Lucario deck. And then I'll be I'll be close to wrapping it for tonight. And then tomorrow. Tomorrow will be practice for the tournament on the weekend. There is a winner box at Vault Games in the city. So I will be competing in that. Let's pickaxe. Alright, we'll take the Mew. Mew's good here actually. And then we get a... Wait, did I Primate Wisdom already? Oh! Emperor's Eyes. That kind of blows. But what we can do is scoop it up. Oh, wait. It, yeah, it's everything. It's not just my active, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Alright, sick. Oh, maybe I should have attached. Yeah, that's fine. Call response bedtime for you as well. Well, I'm glad that you enjoyed seeing the Rillaboom deck in action. And thank you for your well wish. Um, hopefully we see you in the stream again. Usually this end of the week and usually around about this time of night. I will be online, so if you're keen... We'd love to see you next time, too. Continue with the nursery. If you want to. 
Alright, not much to say about that turn. Not a lot of anything. Really need my opponent to bench something. Here we go. Sobble. Then we can play catcher. My opponent still probably doesn't know what I'm playing. Alright, we don't even need catcher. That's good. Sobbles come out. So we're up against Rapid Strike Urshifu with the Empoleon tech. That's nice. Alright, so, Tail. Quick Ball. Good. Yeah, well, that's right, James. That's right. Um. Mm, what do I want to do here? An air balloon. Let's do this. I don't want to redraw ordinary rod, right? Okay, we can play that. Second bit barrel. So what we really need to do on this turn is draw Riolu. We need Riolu and wait. Where's that mana fee? Is that fee's prized? Dude. No, I'm gonna die. <laughs> no! Alright. Oh, they have the Empoleon! They have the answer! No, this sucks! <laughs> They've got the answer! It's not fair! Bruh. Alright. There's a couple of turns before... Before this attacks us, probably. Let's see. Let's see how we go. It's gonna be a hard one. They've got the answer to the mill tank with Emperor's Eyes. And because it has an energy on it now, all they need is a rapid strike energy to swirling slice. Energy search implies that we won't see a swirling slice. We're gonna see Gale Thrust, quite likely. Marnie is all right. I would have liked to keep capture, <laughs> capture, capture for the chance at getting the drop on the Empoleon. Never mind. That is rather annoying. Okay. Still like this. Still like this. What do I grab? I'm not sure if I'm happy with having two Riolus on the bench. It's, um... Yeah, it's not great, to be honest. It's actually a little... Like, there's no point, because Rapid Flow... Rapid Flow is just going to knock out, like, two of them. Because we got Unlucky and Prized down Manaphy. I want to 
keep pickaxe, I guess. Rouse. At least Mill Tank is out there doing its thing. It's good. But yeah, this this matchup ends up being kind of difficult to navigate because as much as we're able to wall them out, so to speak. They have the HP and we don't, so, you know, as soon as that Empoleon gets a Rapid Strike energy, it's going to be knocking out the mill tank due to Emperor's Eye's ability. Do things this way. Because we may end up attacking with Lucario. So we do take the knockout here. I kind of like it. 220, right? So we actually don't need to attach this third energy. We can just go, go Roaring Resolve. Right. Let's do this as well. Retreat. Big turn. Aurosphere does 250. That's four energies discarded to get the KO. Mana feet. Mana feet. Mana feet. No. <laughs> no. Uh, we need mana feet. Rude, yeah. Yeah, well, it was a 50-50. You know, as likely of an outcome. I guess. Right hand, that's one way to get energies onto your... Urshifu. That's one way to do it. Here we go. Swirling Slice. It's gonna be the play. But that's okay. There is a world where we knock out the Empoleon, so that's fine, you know. But we need to... we need a lot to happen for us here. So, belt... We don't need that much. We're not we're really not asking for that much, actually. We can go second mill tank. Just for fun. Ordinary rod. We're only gonna put energy back. Cause we don't really need another Lucario line. We're gonna put a belt down. Level ball. Right. So let's just start with one. Good. Very good. Ultra Ball. 
we're just thinning here. There is another rod in the deck. So, we really need to draw an energy here, okay? Not asking for much. Draw the energy. For right hand. Okay, that works. It's not ideal, but it works. Actually, you know what? It's fine. It's fine, right? Just put the energy there. I we just, like, grab another right hand? Or we just grab an energy. That might be better. Eh. Yeah. Alright, we're roaring resolve. It is a rude penguin. Attach an energy, and that one's good to go. The following turn. Aura Sphere. Alright, now we're in good shape. I don't know how many times this... This thing is going to be able to rapid flow, but we are... We're looking alright. Big turn, yeah. Many champ hits the board. It's going to be difficult to produce the numbers required for Medicham to do its thing. Maybe you come in, you rapid flow. So I probably want the mill tank active, right? I imagine this comes in and knocks out, like, well, you got a few choices, don't you? If they knock out. Vivaro Lucario, that's fine because we go Riolu Manaphy. You know. What's it gonna be? Catch a Sobble for the win? Well, I mean, that would be ideal. If we can get the energy off the top. Escape Rope is interesting. So. Let's just think about the turn a little bit. Manaphy always comes down. Right? And I think I always want a second Riolu. Oh, I'll think about that. Because Inteleon. We could go Inteleon, Inteleon, and then Yoga Loop and we lose. So, I want to use Energy Recycler. Right. Wisdom. I also can't Roaring Resolve with Lucario, which is annoying. It's going to be 20 damage. They've got no energy though, so we might be alright. You know? I might actually have to put down this Riolu. Because either of these is spooky, as is, so we'll just go, we'll hit Don. Yeah, a bit unfortunate that we weren't able to hit that energy after the, the Recycler, but... Just how it be. They took out both of our barrels. Manaphy was in the bottom two prizes, so we just had we had no chance to prevent that from happening. You can see like this game ends up being very different if we have Manaphy from the get-go. So there's 20 out of the Inteleon. Scoop up net. So this is what I was worried about. Now they play it again, do another 20, and now Yoga Loop is on the table. That's precisely why I didn't use Roaring Resolve. Alright, 
Alright, they're, they're thinning, they're thinning. Because I want to do a big professor's research. So they need two cards, right? They need... The stadium. And they need Rap Strike Energy. Let's see if they got them. Have to imagine... There's good odds. That's not the right stadium. Alright, so what we really want to see... Is not that. We really want energy. And scoop up net. Would be good too. Alright, well, Wisdom the Riolu. See what we get. Pickaxe. Yeah? How's that work? It might work. Oh, of, of course that was going to be the next card. I'm stupid. I needed to shuffle the order of the deck with Lucario. That was really just not smart out of me. Oh, well. I needed to shuffle the order of the deck. Alright. We hit done. And then, if our opponent can't work it out on this turn, then we're okay. So they might be able to take the KO on Lucario. But if they do it that way, then they lose their Yoga Loop opportunity. There's Tower of Waters. Oh, I'm going right down. Two card deck. You gotta think that they've got Rapid Strike Energy. There it is. So here comes Medicham, and they use Yoga Loop. Oh, they want to—they want to make sure that they use up these as well. Go on, go, go, go. Yep. And then what HP we're on? We're still somewhat out of range. If they've got Scoop Up Net though, maybe. So there's the Lucario KO of Yoga Loop, and then they get a, an extra turn because they took the KO with Yoga Loop. So now, ah, uh, yeah, GG. Yeah, just attack with quick shooting Inteleon. They found a way out. Long game. Very interesting to play. We were very close. We were very close. Mei-chan, high school card. Very good. You know? It allows for lines of play that extend past a turn, you know? Because when Yoga Loop is an option for your turn, it's like, all right, for my next turn, I have to map out a line of play that allows me to play two supporters, attach two energy, you know, evolve twice, things like that. So it's really interesting to think about how these extra turn mechanics affect decision making and just how long of a sequence they can produce. Very interesting.